The business of books is not new to Oxford University Press. Founded in 1478 as the Department of the University of Oxford in England, it is the largest university press in the world. The Pakistan branch was founded in 1952. From a one-room operation, OUP Pakistan has grown into a leading publisher known for high-quality school texts as well as academic and general titles. How did this change come about? Well, when I took over OUP in uh, 1988, it was more or less a trading agency. It was importing books from the UK, from the US, from India and um, distributing them in Pakistan. Gradually over the years, now, uh, over the 20 years, we have gone from one or two books a year to 200 a year. And in 2007, we celebrated 60 years of Pakistan's independence by again publishing uh, a very large number of books on Pakistan. We like to be the publishers of first choice for our authors. And again, the only way to do that is to treat them fairly, to let them benefit from the fruits of their research, and to make it worth their while. OUP is a, is a reasonably big multinational. I will say that OUP was 10 years ago, but it was not the same. The industry average is our average. There are many reasons. One is that we are the only multinational publisher present. Plus, the kind of infrastructure that we have, no other publisher has. In 2003, OUP Pakistan moved into its own custom-built premises. Designed by the renowned architect Kamil Khan Mumtaz, the building reflects OUP's pride in the country's rich crafts heritage. The business has grown, but some problems remain. तमाम पाकिस्तान के जो बड़े पब्लिशर हैं, इवन सिंटेक्स वो बोर्ड तक की भी पारेसी होती है। जब एक कस्टमर एक चीज की पूरी कीमत अदा कर रहा है, तो ये उसका राइट है कि उसको ओरिजिनल किताब भी मिले। किताब की जो क्वालिटी है, वो सबसे पहले उसकी एपीरियंस जो है, वो प्रिंटिंग से पता लगती है। तो ब्लर इमेजेस या धुंधली तस्वीरें या टेक्स्ट डबलिंग या रीडिबिलिटी या रीड पढ़ने में कोई दुश्वारी उसको आ रही हो तो ये सारी साइन है सब स्टैंडर्ड होने की ये जाली किताब होने की इस सिक्योरिटी स्टिकर में हमने जनरल कस्टमर को बड़ी आसानी से ये मैसेज दिया है कि वो किस तरह से असली और जाली किताबों के दरमियान फर्क तलाश कर सकते हैं the company has mounted a sustained effort to combat book piracy and has had some success, but it's an uphill task. People think that if we are giving OUP 100 rupees, then the pirated book will probably get 50 rupees. There is no such thing. The book that is pirated book is also selling the same price as the book that is selling the same price as OUP. Dictionaries and reference works are a speciality of the Oxford University Press. Marketing is an important aspect of OUP operations. Marketing department basically पूरे पाकिस्तान OUP पाकिस्तान branch की marketing करता है. उसमें सबसे जो foremost हमारी due responsibility आती है, that is the promotion and publicity of not only the branch, that is the Oxford University Press, but our product as well. ये जो हमारे book launch events होते हैं, वो जिस तरह से हम ऑर्गेनाइज करते हैं कोई और पब्लिशर यहां पर उस स्टैंडर्ड पे उस लेवल पे नहीं करता ऑथर्स एंड रीडर्स गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंटरैक्ट एट ओयूपी बुक लॉन्चर्स मेंबर्स ऑफ द ऑक्सफोर्ड बुक क्लब आर एंटाइटल्ड टू स्पेशल बेनिफिट्स ओयूपी मेक्स अ स्पेशल एफर्ट टू डेवलप एन इंटरेस्ट इन बुक्स एंड रीडिंग and it has introduced a number of special events such as storytelling sessions. Regional sales offices at Lahore and Islamabad have an important role to play. Uh, since we are the leaders in the school market, um, our books are ex extremely popular. We continuously run workshops for 
uh, schools not only in uh, Lahore but also in Faisalabad and Multan and uh, lastly in uh, Rahimya Khan. We've been managed to gain a lot of uh, volume in uh, the Punjab University and uh, Bahauddin Zikriya University in Multan. We have uh, a teacher's resource centre where we get the latest uh, school books. As a part of our promotional uh, program, we also conduct a lot of teacher training workshops. Um, and we also have regular book fairs in schools. And uh, they are held in areas like Skardu, Gilgit, Hunza, D.I. Khan, Bannu, Char Sada, Noshera. We have a flagship uh, bookstore in um, uh, Lahore. It's a place which is very centrally located. At the heart of OUP's publishing endeavor is its editorial department. All new manuscripts, whether they are commissioned or we receive them unsolicited, they are put through a review process and uh, when we receive the final approval for publication, then we sign up uh, with the author contract. I think we are the only publishers who have this kind of, you know, uh, selection, uh, you know, in very variety of titles that we have, like history, politics, sociology, anthropology. You know, it's huge. I, I don't think there is any other publisher who can match us in that way. OUP places great importance on the development of high quality school books, specially developed to meet local needs. Every year we work almost at an average 120 books at an average, which is a number, and on different subjects. Textbook editors with long years of experience in the field contribute to the success of the program. I was approached by OUP to write an Urdu book for them, an O-level Urdu book, and uh, I decided to take it up. There is a publishing program in Urdu as well, and groundbreaking work has been done in the Sindhi language. Our last good dictionary was made in the last 70-80 years ago, which has been made in the reprint of the reprint. और ये ऑक्सफोर्ड की अपनी एक खास स्टाइल है जिसमें वो लोग सिखाते हैं तो इस तरह से एक जरूरत थी इस तरह की डिक्शनरी की जो हमने बनाई बेसिकली आई हैव बीन एसोसिएटेड फॉर चिल्ड्रंस लिटरेचर चिल्ड्रंस बुक्स बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ देम कुड बी इन उर्दू एंड दैट्स वेयर माय स्किल्स एज अ राइटर एंड अ पोएट ऑफ उर्दू केम इन handy for the children like to read books if they are interesting for them right anything that stimulates a child's imagination that makes him wants to think originally helps him you know have a flight of fantasy because that's very important professional design is a key element in publishing a lot of effort goes into that making sure that whatever we are doing design-wise and content-wise meets the requirements of that particular audience. Distinguished writers and editors have a long-standing association with OUP Pakistan. I've had some very interesting experiences of working with OUP over the years as a writer as well as an editor. Then I also did a, scene, some, a number of uh, books for children in Urdu and some of those books included retailing of old tales. I'm also contributing to this um, encyclopedia, this desk reference to Pakistani literature or literature, literatures from Pakistan, shall we say. I think that uh, publishers such as OUP have a very strong uh, positive role to play in Pakistani society, a role which is often not recognized and not appreciated. OUP has published books by four women in my family. My mother, myself, my uh, younger daughter, Kamla, who is a well-known novelist, and the surprise is Saman, my elder daughter, who wrote a children's story. My association with OUP goes back a very long time. It first started with uh, my work for them, which was my work as a professional artist. They asked me to work on 
a book cover for a book on the social sciences by Akbar S. Ahmed. I think Oxford University Press Pakistan is an immensely respected publisher, uh, partly of course because it has made its mark in education. This is a country where history has not been given the importance that it deserves. I mean, we've had more of ideology than history. So this seemed like an opportunity to at least take this step in the right direction in trying to uh, depict the history of Pakistan as best we could. I mean, it's a difficult sort of a project because, you know, where, where does the history begin? So I think it raises that question. Um, but it is going to be primarily on the post-1947 period and there doesn't seem to be anything of that sort uh, in Pakistan at the moment. First of all, of course, we'd like it to be a source for researchers, that people who want to look at Pakistani art, they should have a book which they can consult and they feel fairly comfortable with it because the other surveys and books on art which we've seen, as I've mentioned, tend to be subjective. What we are hoping the encyclopedia would do is to balance things out and uh, although there is really nothing uh, objective in this world because everything has a subjective element to it, but we hope with so many contributors making uh, uh, their inputs, each one writing on different elements, that we will be able to uh, streamline that and create that balance. And that basically is my job. From a small import and reprint operation in the 1950s, OUP Pakistan has grown into a company with branches in Lahore and Islamabad and nine bookshops countrywide. Over 200 new titles are generated every year. This phenomenal growth has been made possible by the efforts of a dedicated team. Over the years, OUP has built up an impressive infrastructure placing great emphasis on the training, well-being and motivation of its staff. With OUP coming up uh, the way it has, I mean, it's kind of really changed Pakistani publishing, you know. Doing this sort of work, I feel that I've finally landed where I belonged. My is that my father was also, and I was also, and my family was also, and my family was also. I've been here for about um, 30 years. And I really like the environment, the people are not very nice and they're still very good. We were thrown in at the deep end, but uh, it's been a wonderful experience, it's been a learning experience. And um, I think uh, really the rate at which we've grown, it's, it's been a very rewarding experience for me personally to see this, uh, uh, the publishing taking place and growing at such a rapid speed over the years. A step ahead in publishing, OUP Pakistan.